Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome back to my channel, and today we're doing Seven on Sunday. So, Seven on Sunday was created by Grace over at G Swizzle, so I will link the Goodreads group down below and her channel so you can go check all that good stuff out. But this week's topic is our seven favorite black authors, or just black authors in general, because I think it's a really important topic, and with uh, with George Floyd being murdered, I think it's perfect time to talk about some of our favorite black authors and also maybe give you guys some new recs as well. I know that my reading is not as diverse as it could be and so I cannot wait to look at other people's videos and just find some amazing black authors to add to my TBR. But first of all I want to talk about a black author that I haven't read from yet but he is bringing out a rom-com type uh, book uh, in 2022. It's so far away, but it's called I'm So Not Over You by Kazoko Jackson. I believe it's a second chance romance slash like enemies to lovers with some like cowboy aspects and also like your male male relationship and I'm just really excited to read it. I followed him on Twitter um, a couple months ago because when I saw someone retweet that like story concept I'm like I need this in my life. 2022 hurry up please. Next book on this list is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Angie Thomas also wrote On The Come Up which I have read as well but my favorite will always be The Hate You Give. She is bringing out another one Oh, I can't remember. It's like Rose something. Um, but it's about Star's dad when he was a teenager. And I'm so excited to read that story. But The Hate You Give is about Star. Um, she's 16 year old. And when she's coming home from a party with her best friend, she watches her best friend get shot by a police officer um, who was white. And her best friend was black and he was unarmed. And... It's just about Star coming to terms and realizing if she should raise her voice and start bringing, like, start letting everyone know. Like, not letting everyone know, but basically what is happening right now in America. Been, this has been happening for ages and I just, I really love this book because it did open my eyes and I know that it shouldn't have opened my eyes. It, my eyes should have been opened a very long time ago but I really enjoyed the book and I'm really excited for the sequel slash prequel of it. Yeah. The next black author I want to talk about is Nick Stone. She wrote Dear Martin which is a book about this teenager called Justice who goes to a predominantly white school and he's like just mind and knows his own business and he's trying to help his ex who's very drunk who's trying to drive her car. He's trying to get her to not kill herself basically but then he gets arrested by this white cop and gets handcuffed and he's he just couldn't believe that he happened to him because he's done everything that he was told since he was a little boy. Um, and so he starts this little project um, where he writes letters to like Martin Luther King Jr. Trying to bring a bit of Martin into his life and what would he do. And this book really rocked my world. I didn't read the synopsis beforehand. So when the middle of the book happened... I was in tears. I was shocked. I had no idea. I really liked it. And I also have another one of her books, Need to Be Picked Up from the Library, um, which I'm really excited to pick up because I don't think, like, you should not only read books by black authors that specifically tell you, like, what they go through, but, like, also, like, just how they live their lives. Like right now I'm reading The Chocolate Run by Dorothy Coombson. The main character is black in Leeds in the UK. It's just a chiclet basically about how she's um, working for this film festival company and just her love life. And I'm really enjoying that right now as well because she compares chocolate to love and I totally get that. I understand that a lot and like... Mm. Anyway, back to, so I guess that's could be my fourth author, um, Dorothy Coombson, little 
sidebar for you there. Another black author I really love is Alyssa Cole. I read her Once Ghosted Twice Shy um, for a smutathon um, last year and I've pre-ordered her The AI Who Loved Me and I'm really excited to read that. So The AI Who Loved Me is about this girl who moves in to her new apartment and her neighbor's like a little bit weird but she's just like he's hot so it's okay and then turns out that he's an AI and uh, romance and shoes and I'm so excited. I also really adore Naima Simone's books. I've read uh, Sin and Ink, which is one of her Sweetest Taboo series. I believe it's called Sweetest Taboos. And also Grading Curves. And she's also got the Lick series. I've read um, the first book only for a night and I fell in love. And I just, I cannot wait to read the rest of that series. But Grading Curves kind of reminded me of, um, so it's like a age gap where the woman is older and the the guy is like 22 and he's a tattoo artist and he just kind of reminded me of that love interest in Younger. I don't know, I just pictured him in my head. I really enjoy Naomi and Simone's books and if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, I definitely suggest picking them up because uh, chef's kiss. I also really enjoy Alexa Martin's books. I've read two or three. I think I've only read the first two books in her playbook series. Um, they're a football romance and uh, so the first one is called Intercepted. Apparently Intercepted is based on, loosely based on her own life with her husband who is an ex-NFL player and I just, when I read that, I'm like, yes! What I like about the playbook series is that you have met the characters in the next book from the first book. They're like a side character and I, I like, I love it when like series do that. And then the last author I want to talk about is Maxine Benneber Clark. She wrote The Hate Race, which I read last year or the year before. And it was kind of like a memoir of uh, growing up black in Australia um, because her parents are actually from the UK, but they came to the UK, I think, then her, their parents were from Africa and in the Caribbean. And so then they moved to the UK and then, so, but like, when Maxine was growing up in Australia. Yeah, I think she was growing up in the 80s, I believe, in Australia. Um, and I just couldn't believe some of the things that were said to her, were said to like an eight year old. Like I just, <sighs> oh. anyway, um, definitely pick up The Hate Race. I think it's a book that everyone needs to read um, because even though she's not Aboriginal, an indigenous Australian, she's like Afro from Afro-Caribbean descent. It was just a really eye-opening book to read. So those are some of my favorite black authors. Thank you so much, Grace, for doing this topic this month. Let me know down below who are some of your favorite black authors. I would love to know if you have any suggestions that I can put into my TBR. Yes, please. Um, I have a Song of Wraith and Ruin um, on order at the library. I cannot wait to pick that one up and then also you should see me in a crown because that like reminds me of Billie Eilish and then the cover is just to die for. Anyway, if you like this video, you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to be my friend, you can add me on Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter. They're all at Sash Reads and I'll see you next time. Bye!